If you're new, and if you're not new, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank y'all again for tuning. Thank y'all for all your consistency. Ugh, I can't talk. Thank y'all for tuning in to my videos and honestly just keep paying. I, I can't talk. Thank y'all for just staying with me and not giving up on me because y'all know I'm small. One day we're gonna be big. And no, seriously, thank y'all. I appreciate when y'all be interacting with me and the little messages I be getting sometimes. And thank y'all. Y'all be making me want to cry sometimes. Anyway. So we're back with another story time. If you are new, if you happen to like the story time at the end of the video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. I don't care if you if you comment a monkey, just comment, feel me with comments and love. Anyway, so we're doing another story time. So a few, y'all know I've been doing my McDonald's story times lately. I've been doing my McDonald's story times. And eventually I'm going to talk about when I got, like, what happened when I got fired. But before I can even talk about that, I got to talk about this. So, um, we're going to have a sip of our drink. This is not wine. Unfortunately, I lost my ID. Lost my ID. I've never lost a debit card, or credit card ID in my life. But I finally lost my ID. So, I can't buy any liquor. I mean, I have, I have my sister fake ID. But, you know, people be scanning those IDs. So, I can't really do anything with that id because i be scanning it so i'm waiting on my new ids to come in the mail this is just some dang juice and sprite i don't like that anyway let's let's get into the store okay y'all so i got my phone in my hand because we're gonna go in this phone because i got receipts for this video so um where do i even begin um who okay so y'all know the mcdonald's i worked with it was ratchet and ghetto and just full of messy bitches um it was so messy so drama field anybody could be a manager um yeah because the managers ain't do shit the managers ain't know how to count the safe the safe was always short literally all you have to do is just i don't know all you have to do is just just kiss ass to the gm you could be a manager i don't know um, the McDonald's, it was just real ghetto, real ghetto, real ratchet, but it was diverse. There was a lot of blacks and Hispanics in there. It was diverse. Um, it was just real ratchet, real ghetto. Sometimes people stuck in their little clicks, whatever. So, um, I got this manager and let's call this bitch Tulip. Because her name is similar to a fucking flower. It's called her Tulip. Tulip. So, y'all, Tulip was just a freaking um, asshole. T -t Tulip was an asshole, y'all. She was so fucking messy and backhand sneaky and shit. So, literally, no one really got along with Tulip. Tulip was just so... No one... Tulip worked the um, morning shift. Um, no one really got along with Tulip. She was hella messy. She talked to people like shit. And she wasn't that much older than us. Like, when this happened, I was about 18. Tulip was about maybe 23, 24. She wasn't that much older than me. So she used to talk to people like like crazy. And then she got to remember, bitch, you ain't that much older than us. We can really take it though. Like, people used to like really just be ready to take it though with Tulip. Because she used to come everybody real crazy. So, where do I even begin with the shit? Okay, so if y'all remember Slowy from the story time, um, I think my friends turned this so weirdo. It was one of the McDonald's story times I did recently. I'll link it. So Slowy. So y'all, the reason I call Slowy Slowy is because she acted fucking slow. She acted real slow. She was a liar. Um, she lied about just shit that she didn't have to lie about. So okay, let me take all the way back. So when I first started this job, Tulip was there already, but. Slowly wasn't there when I first started. So one day I happened to be at work. And at this point I'm there, I want to say like a year or close to a year. And I just happened to see Slowly. And me and one of my other friends, we was talking. We were like, who is that girl? Like, we ain't never seen that before. She was in the kitchen. Um honestly, I thought she was, I thought she was, um, this had nothing to do with it. I thought she was like Hispanic because she was like so light skinned. 
so light skin i thought she's like hispanic like with other Hispanics in the kitchen I, I don't know but no she's black um but yeah i'm like who is this girl i ain't never seen that before so we're like oh okay so um kind of found out slow we've been at the um damn mcdonald's for years y'all she had just came back from maternity leave okay cool so as i'm getting to know um, knowing slowly slowly seemed cool she seemed like a sweet girl like i said slowly gravitated to my friend um i can't even think of what i named her but when i said when i said um her hair was always when i when i said i asked her why she don't ever like straighten out her hair and we had one to her baby shower with her whatever i named her her and slowly i told y'all i went to the i went to her baby shower with slowly because huh slowly they became, they became real cool so um we just we just becoming cool i can't i'm kind of really getting to know her through our now mutual i'm kind of i'm getting to know slowly a little bit more because like i said she's really cool with my other friend and yeah slowly seems cool but slowly was and i like slowly but slowly was like a little weird she was just a liar so i remember um we got like we add each other on facebook and she just got to liking a whole bunch of stuff which okay ain't nothing wrong with that but i remember at some point she was talking she's like yeah girl my husband my husband i'm like oh you married yeah girl i've been married on uh -uh, years however many years it was kind of found out no that was her baby daddy they was just together a long time now slow he is actually married now for real she got married a few years ago but i remember her just lying saying that she um she was married and just like other little sh oh that's what it was slow used to be a little irritating because she would always she would brag a lot and she still do this to this day i'm still um slowly friend on facebook my page is actually deactivated right now i deactivate my page a lot but um she that's another she used to get on she used to get on people's nerves because she just used to lie about little shit she used to get caught in her lie and she used to brag so much like yeah it's my kids i buy them a lot of stuff from my old navy and it's like girl don't nobody not trying to be funny but we don't give a fuck about what you buy your kids we don't care like and it's one thing to like talking like casual conversation no slow we used to say stuff so like really be on some brag and shit yeah i got a husband but whole time slow don't got no husband yeah my kids get this but it's like whole time bitch on every sheet which i like on navy but just little shit so um y'all one day slowly calls me and it's like um three four in the morning now slowly lives near the south side like me um but i live like way way further south but slowly like live on the south side near me so with me saying that because we worked at o'hare airport slowly um had to leave out early to get to work because she worked it's first of all the, like the buses and stuff the buses and train well yeah buses and trains they kind of run a little slower early in the morning and then we're coming from south so we have to leave out a little earlier right so she called me like three four in the morning and i'm um, hello i wasn't scheduled to work i think it's like two this day though she hey boo hey um do you have a bu an extra bus car and i'm like i'm like no i don't, I don't have no extra bus car or whatever she, shit okay boy i'll see you at work so when I finally get to work, it's me and um, it's me, a few of my friends, they don't need names. It's only one person in particular who need a name. Let's give her a name. Let's call her Rihanna because she, she looks like Rihanna. Um, so it's who well, I'm talking to, Rihanna and um, me talking. So I'm like, they, you look tired. I'm like, no, um, I ain't that tired. But slow, he had called me some damn three, four in the morning time at a damn bus car. And after that, I really couldn't go back to sleep. So, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I wasn't even trying to be honestly messy. Because how we all just talked, it was like casual conversation. We used to just like rent, like talk. But I had no intentions. I shouldn't say it in front of a group of people. Um, I shouldn't say it in front of a group of people. But my intentions really wasn't to be like messy or like try to talk down or slow or anything like that. It wasn't like that. I don't know why I just took this ring off this finger. Anyway. But I just said in cash, I'm such like, girl, y'all, no. Nah. So like, you called me at 3, 4 in the morning, so I'm like, dang, but did I have a bus card? And I just kind of go back to sleep. So as I'm saying this, not paying attention that the little bitch, um, Tulip, is in a corner. She should be doing a fucking job and make sure her actual register finally is counted down correctly for once. But the bitch all in my motherfucking business. I ain't even paying no attention, though. Magic, as I'm saying this shit, Tulip is, I mean, not Tulip. Um, Slowy, she's at work. She's at work. So it's not like I said it and Slowy wasn't there. No, Slowy's at work. And again, I didn't mean no harm bad, but I shouldn't say it. Apparently, Slowy ain't hear the comment that I made. 
I still imagine you. As I'm saying, it's slowly like around the area. Like she in the front with us. So I don't know. Apparently, slowly didn't hear me say the comment. So, um, like the next day, y'all. Why the fuck the next day? Okay, y'all know I have a sister. I have multiple sisters, but my sister, um, the day before, my sister had went to the hospital. So the day I'm at work, or whatever, telling telling everybody how slow he had um, woke me up for that bus ride. My sister happened to go to the hospital that day, and when she went to the hospital, um, kind of found out she needed to have like um, um surgery, like. What's the, urgent surgery? Is that the right word? Like, she had that surgery, like, the next day. She had that surgery, and I was devastated. She had that surgery, and I was just scared. I was devastated. It was so random. Imagine you going to the hospital for something totally different, and they said, oh, no, you need that surgery. So, I'm crying. I'm scared. I knew that I wasn't going to work the next day. So, early the next day, I ended up calling off work or whatever, and, um, yeah, I called off work because I wanted to just, I was sad. My sister was in the hospital. I didn't know how this was going to go. Thank God my sister was okay. But, yeah. So, why I see Slowly make a status, y'all. Slowly make that some about some um, people are fake and and um, people don't really know who she, who she really is. And she not the one. Just little stuff like that. I'm not paying no attention because me and Slowly not into it. I'm not thinking that this shit about me all the time. Slowly talking about me on status. So she she not the one and people just don't know who she really is and people got her messed up and little stuff like that. I'm seeing she made like three statuses. Again, I'm not thinking it's about me because me and Slowly is fine. We don't got no, no beef in my ass. Like me and Slowly are cool. We were talking at work the day before everything. But like I said, I never should have had that conversation in front of whoever I had it from. But I swear my attention wasn't to be messy, but I should, just shouldn't have did it. So why the f fuck Rihanna texts me and she like, you, you busy? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like me and Rihanna, we don't really talk outside of work. So that's weird. We have each other number, but we don't talk outside of work like that. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not busy. What's up? She can I call you? I'm like, yeah. So Rihanna calls me. She's like, um, basically, Slowy's at work talking about when she catch me. Um, when I come back to work, she's gonna cuss me out because I was talking about her to Tulip. I'm like, when was I talking about her to Tulip? She said, so basically when we were having a conversation yesterday about how Slowy called you about the bus card, I guess Tulip was listening, and Tulip went back. They how they put it to me, they said um, Slowly just came in. Slowly man, her business finna have a good day, right? And cause Slowly and Tulip both work in morning shift. And Tulip had came and was like, "Hey, so you know Nakia was talking about you, man? Y'all, Tulip, this bitch is my manager. You know Nakia was talking about you." And Slowly like, "What did Nakia say about me?" And she's like, "Well, yeah, she said you, you can't afford a bus card. You can't afford a bus card, so you have to ask her for a bus card." And the whole time, I didn't say it like that. I wasn't trying to say that Slowly couldn't afford a bus car. I swear that wasn't my intention. But I did say Slowly caught me for a bus car. But it wasn't my intention. It did not come out the way this bitch Tulip was trying to make it come out. So, I guess Slowly really, you know, believing that Tulip, believing Tulip sad. And I was just like, uh-uh. Like, really? So, that's what Slowly talked about me on Facebook. So, um... So, yeah, Rihanna, she told me what's happening. I'm like, oh, okay, like, for real, bad. I'll be, I'll be at work tomorrow, shit. I'll be, now I'm really irritated because I'm like, what the fuck? So, I know I reached out to Tulip. Did I reach out to Slowly? Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I, I was going to read y'all what I wrote to this weak-ass bitch Tulip. But let me see if I get any messages I wrote to um Slowly, y'all. Y'all, I did not realize I also had some slowly messages. I swear, I knew, I, I remember that some slowly messages, but I got some of my sons so slowly. So, after Rihanna told me the shit that was going on, and then I'm piecing all the way out, so slowly must be talking about me on her status, I text, I um, sent slowly some messages through Facebook. So, first, I called her two times. She didn't answer. Then I said, I'm a phony bitch, and if I would have cared to work, you would have treated me. Then I say her name. I say... Slowly, I'm not your child. Your overly grown ass better stop discussing me. I ain't got to conversate with you to nobody and what you do for me. Oh, because that's the thing. That's what happened, y'all. Tulip me. Now, Slowly was um telling. So when Slowly and um Tulip was talking, Slowly was like, yeah, as much as I do for her. As much as I do for her. This is real. What Rihanna's telling me. So I tell her. What I tell her? Yeah, I said, and, and what you do for me? Add a piece of bacon on a sandwich. Get the fuck on. Because y'all... We was able to get like free lunches 
they used to give us our free lunch, but we couldn't have like the double quarter pounder and we couldn't have stuff with bacon. So sometimes the kitchen was sneaking for bacon on our food for us if we asked. So I'm like, what you do for me? Add a piece of bacon on a sandwich, get the fuck on. If you felt some kind of way, you could have came to me directly while your overgrown is talking about me like it's not going to get back to me. And the conversation wasn't about, it uh, wasn't about a damn bus car. Whoever told you that, it was more so because you was calling me at 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, I thought it was 3 a.m. 6. 6 a.m. in the morning. I never said you was broke or nothing like that. So you and whoever discussed me said, come, who, you, ugh. So... You and whoever discussed me can come to me who told you that so I can treat them. Was it Tulip? I said her name. What's the problem? You think I tried to call you broke or something? All I said was slowly call me at 6 in the morning about a bus car. Nothing nothing more, nothing less. And if anybody told you anything else, they mind. I never talked about your finances. I don't know what you make and what you don't make. All that, all that damn talking in front of people wasn't calls for. And it might say I tagged you in a comment, but the post go on now. But this is what it say. I didn't realize I said good status. So I made a start to say, oh my dear sister, I'm not worried about none of you grown hoes in McDonald's, period. I can bang it, fuck. So this girl we work at at McDonald's, she called me, she said, what happened? So then I ended up tagging Slowly in the comment. I said, Slowly was disgusting me. Uh, so then the girl, she's like, well, let me know if somebody disgusts me. And I'm like, I wasn't there. Somebody fold to me. Y'all know, fold to me, basically for me. And the girl's like, shame on you, she crazy. I just wanted to be sure. So, oh, and then messages, I, I'm sending Slowly. I said, Betty, yeah, you can call me. I got my number. So, I guess Slowly called me. I do remember, um, oh, but before Slowly called me, before I even read the rest of the shit. So, before Slowly called me, I did go live on Facebook. Yeah, I was in, just in my room on live on Facebook. And somebody was like, um, why you ain't coming to work today? So, I'm like, man, my sister had surgery. My sister had surgery. I was just scared. It was like, well, no, that's when I come today. So I'm like, but best believe I'm coming that bitch tomorrow because I want to see who's going to treat me. And basically, I'm just talking about the whole situation on live on, on, live, on Facebook Live. I'm like, I want to see who's going to treat me. And I don't know what this lady's talking about that she did some shit for me. What the fuck did you really do? Put a slice of bacon on the motherfucking burger? Bitch, you ain't paying for the motherfucking bacon. It ain't coming out your check. So that pissed me off. Don't make it seem like you did overly did some shit for me, bitch. But again, I like Chloe this past. But I'm telling you how I felt when this shit happened. I still think slow is slow, though. But honestly, I don't know if slow is slow still. I actually don't know. But I like slowy, but yeah. So I guess slowy ended up calling me on the phone. And I had screenshotted slowly the messages I sent to our manager, Tulip. So I said, keep my fucking name. I'll show mouth, girl. So then Tulip said, I'm sorry, I have more important things to be worried about than discussing you or anybody. I don't care what was said to you, and I don't care. And if it's not work-related, please do me a favor and not be messaging me. I said, it wasn't work-related when you told Slowly about a bus car either, right? And told her not to say that it was you, right? Because that was the thing. I guess Tulip told Slowly not to, like, come to me and say, oh, well, Tulip the one. Basically, Tulip ain't, Tulip ain't one name in the shit, basically. So I said, it wasn't work lady when you told um, Slowly about a bus car either, right? And told her not to say that it was you, right? But it would be work lady real soon. Don't act like you cool is now. You know what you did, but you finna see. So, um, yeah, so Tula like, LOL, now she mad. I mean, not Tula, um, Slowly, she LOL, now she mad. And I'm like, she know what she doing. And then Tula and Slowly like, I know she wants to be mad at me for telling you, but hey. So then I'm steady sending Tula the message, I mean Slowly the message, because I don't want Slowly to think I had any ill intentions on what I swear. It wasn't my intentions. I shouldn't have had the conversation, but I wasn't trying to make it seem like Slowly couldn't afford a bus card. That wasn't my intentions. I swear it wasn't. So, um, so at this point, hold on. Okay, so yeah. So after the last, so I, um, I said, you finna see so tulip has said whatever you discuss with the other crew is none of my business yes i did hear you say that and i wasn't the only one there so just like i hear other crew talk talk but that's but that's you guys business i guess you meant that's that's your guys business i don't well i don't know that's you guys business not mine this all he said she said type of thing which i find childish for that i have two two kids the bitch meant t-w-o -T -T ho so she said two two kids at home to deal with that i don't go to work to deal with that 
I say, so I bring it up then. And slowly knows what was said, but you try to make it another but another way. But if you didn't do anything wrong, you don't owe me an explanation. It came out her mouth. You said it personally, but then I had put an emoji. So then me and um me and Slowy get back on the phone. I got off the phone. I tell our big boss, our boss who's over Slowy. I think I gave my name Crybaby. We're gonna talk about more Crybaby next story. So I tell Crybaby what happened. So I said I just talked to Crybaby. Slowly said, what what she say, huh? And she's and I'm telling her, like Crybaby said, Sulu shouldn't open her mouth and she's gonna be dealt with. And yeah. Enough of screenshots. So I get to work the next day, y'all. I get to work and in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna treat the fuck out this bitch. As soon as I see this bitch, I'm finna treat the fuck out this bitch. This bitch finna keep, she finna, you ain't never in life gonna go, go tell no, I didn't like that. I didn't like that because me and um, Slowly really couldn't get into it. You really tried to be a messy bitch because you a wicked ass bitch and you don't like me. But you don't have enough balls to come to me and be like, I don't like you. Let's come see me after we get off work and we can get off at Rosemont. You not gonna be a real ass bitch and just really be about it. So you tried to send Slowly to do your dirty work. I didn't like that. So... As soon as I get to work, I'm thinking I'm going to say something to this bitch. And two of our big, big bosses are there. So, one name, I'm going to say their real names because I don't feel like giving them fake names. I don't care. One name is Bob and one name is um, Danny. Y'all, Danny, for him to be, I don't know why y'all don't like big boys. Because Danny was a cute big boy. He was so fucking fine. Anyway, so as soon as I try to walk in, Danny and Bob like, Nakia, can you come with me? I'm like, ain't this a bitch? They're like, Nakia, um, can you come with me? So they're like, um, what happened? So y'all, thank God Danny was there. Because if it was just Bob by himself, I would have definitely got fired. Bob, he was an asshole. Fuck you, bitch, if you see this. He just made, he was one of the people that overly did his job. Like, he was at the company. He was just literally stand out. Um, he was stand outside. Like our, our lines with the like okay the customers outside we ringing them up and he would just stand out there and just watch how we ring up the customers and he just he was somebody who really just took his job overly serious like too serious he just it's not what you do it's how you do, how you do it so Bob liked it to get he liked it to get people up out there he liked this to get get people up out of here so if it was up to Bob I would get fired Danny probably was the only thing to say me so that Danny and Bob they like what happened. So I tell him everything what happened. I'm like, well, so, I mean, Rihanna called me and she's just, um, I told them everything, everything I just told y'all, I told them. So then Danny says, stay right here next to Bob. I'm going to go get Tulip. So um, he go get Tulip. So Tulip, so Danny's telling me what I messed up at. He's telling Tulip what she messed up at. So um, they like, can y'all squash this? So I'm like. And then here goes this fake ass bitch too, look fake ass hoe. Um, she Nakia, I'm sincerely sorry. I genuinely apologize. I, I'm so sorry. And I look at this bitch, I'm like, okay. Shake her hand. Get a bitch a handshake. Really, I know I wasn't over it, but at this point I had to be over it because it came down to my job. So after we shake, Danny said, okay, I let this slide this time, but next time y'all get fired. That's what he said to me and Tula. So, uh, yeah, I, we go to work, and the bitch was fake nice, and yeah, she a fake nice asshole. But that was it, y'all. That was it, and yeah. And I know y'all think Rihanna was so nice for coming to tell me about what Tulip and Slowy said about me, but no, y'all, Rihanna, she also a messy ass bitch. Rihanna a messy bitch. I think I got a story time with me and Rihanna. Yeah, I'm gonna do another story time about Rihanna so y'all can see this bitch, she messy, but... I mean, Tula was messy too, but Rihanna, she brought it to me because she wanted to see some mess. She didn't give a fuck about me for real. But anyway, y'all, that was it. If you happen to like this story, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I can't wait to do this next story time, y'all. I can't wait to talk about when I actually got fired. And the reason I can't wait to talk about it is because I feel like that's the best thing that could happen to me in life. When they fired me, I thought my world was over. Because, man, y'all worked there when I was 16 to 19. And I thought my world was over. Bitch, they should fire me a long time ago. Because I didn't touch so much money since then. I didn't been so many places. I didn't accomplish so much in life since then. But me being 19, 
I just really thought my world was over. And it's like, no, bro. But yeah, y'all, if you like the story, please consider like, please consider like and comment and subscribe. And until next time, bye, y'all.